Back in May, I requested exit interviews from police officers and Fort Pierce. About three months later, I still don't have the data, but this survey that I uncovered from the police union explains why some officers are leaving the department. One by one. We are a training ground agency. Fort Pierce police officers claim they're not paid enough. Currently, as a single father of two children, I'm struggling to meet ends meet. Data we found shows Fort Pierce police officers make less than most agencies. Compared to Boca Raton, its starting salary is higher than the agency's highest salary level. I spent a month and a half with one shirt. Why? Because we have no money. A new officer who just started as well in training, I had to let him borrow my shirt or swear in ceremony. Survey results I uncovered show officers don't like the equipment and resources provided. Data also shows officers don't like training opportunities or communication between management and employees. We reached out to the Fort Pierce Police Department. It says it recognizes the police union and its membership's need to fulfill their mission. The city of Fort Pierce budget is uh, maxed out at $58 million. Records show the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office budget in 2023 was $96 million. Fort Pierce's entire budget is about $59 million. Why is that so significant? It's significant because we simply we don't have sufficient funds to cover all of our needs. For now, officers will voice the consequences. But I'm sick and tired every night, jumping up one, two in the morning, bullets going all over the place. And when I get up the next day, the police department makes absolutely no arrests. I see why they can't. Hell, they don't even have the equipment to do it. While people are concerned about public safety. About 20 officers, the survey says, are likely to leave the department within a year. That's about a third of the department's force. In Fort Pierce, Ethan Stein, WPTV News.